I'm showing you how to make some fuzzy pencils. They're really simple to make. Anybody could do it. You might say, oh, that's going to be so hard, but it's really not. It's just, this took me, what, like five seconds to make. Are you going to need, and you guys are wondering why there's tape on them. I'll get to that part. These ones are sharpened, but sadly the pencil that I picked is not sharpened. So what you're going to need is pencil, duh, some string, which I pre-cut because it sometimes it takes a while, but this one was easy to cut, tape, and scissors. And it depends on what kind of yarn. If you want a more stringier yarn or a more fuzzier yarn, whichever one you want. I chose this pink one because I've already made it in these colors. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it. And you're going to leave a little space to hold it, but you guys are like, oh, are we ever going to fill that in? Yes, we are. So, first you're just going to, whoa, what is this fuzziness? So, if you guys see any, like, ickiness, you're just going to snip that off with your scissors. Because it could lead to a bad start. Cut it all off. Okay, there we go. It could lead to a bad start. And then you're just going to start wrapping your pencil and yarn. So, it takes a really simple motion, and if it gets stuck, just pull it through. And then, I didn't leave that much space, so then you're just going to, like, push it up. And then you're just going to keep on winding it, and winding it, and winding it, until you are finished. So, yeah, let's just keep on doing this. So, where do you get your stringy stuff from? Yarn? Well, I got my yarn from a knitting case. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to see Blaze, he's behind the camera. He can switch it around. Hey! Last night he was in the bath, so he didn't get to be in our opening video. But, like I said, he's going to be doing roadblocks and stuff. So, see how my pencil is looking? And if you have or any orange gaps, just push your yarn up. And then you won't see the orange gaps. And it's... I know that you can buy them, but it's so much cooler to say to your friends, oh, I made it. So, back to where I got my yarn from. I got mine from a kit that I'm not going to use anymore because I have no idea how to do it, and it's really hard. And it's just a sewing kit, so it's not my sew cool machine. That has, like, fabric and stuff. But, and I really like this yarn because it changes colors, but you can get it from Michael's or any craft store like Joanna's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart might sell it. Okay, so that's that. And then you once you get to your end and you think you have enough, you're just going to take your excess and wrap it around so there's no more cutting involved. And get that last little orange speck. Then you're going to take your invisible tape or any type of tape. And just cut a little bit off. <gasps> oh no! Oh god. Okay. We could easily fix that. And we're going to tape it to where it can stay there forever and ever. And you're going to be like, well, why don't you just hot glue it? Well, since I had this idea that, well, what if you don't want this pencil for display and you actually, sorry, and you just want to take it to school and actually use it and show all your friends and tell them how you made it then and tell them where you got the idea from then tape it and then you could use it because then you can unravel the tape unravel the yarn cut the yarn off sharpen it then it's going to be a fuzzy pencil forever so if you guys like this video and you want more diys leave it let us know in the comments Make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and make head on over to our next fuzzy fun video. And have a nice day and love you guys. Bye.